Welcome back. Uh, GVN gang, welcome back, welcome back. Bit of a recap, obviously I didn't take my camera out to Vegas last night. We we won a little bit of money, not going to lie, we won a little bit of money, it's not too much, but we came back from a loss, I think we went to the first casino, went terribly there, I think the chick got like 721s in a row it felt like. So we moved on, and then we went to another casino, then we had a chick there, it was really good, really good, and we cleaned up. In my eyes we cleaned up, I don't know if it's the general consensus, but we won money, I think if you go to a casino and you win money, that's... That's a positive. That's a positive for me. I never really win, so played a bit of blackjack and stuff like that. So it was really good, really good there. Got some daiquiris. I mean, I probably looked like a female, but there was many. There was many men. There was many men that had the daiquiris as well. So I had to ask the question to the lady. I said, "Do men buy these fucking things? Because I don't know. They look like girls' things. I had to buy a blue lid, which cost me four dollars extra. Just." Just so I felt better about myself. I, I, I don't even know if it, it didn't do anything at all, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So we're going to go to Vegas again in the morning, well, this morning. And then we are going to go to the premium outlet that, that we didn't go to last time. So we're going to, I think, the south side this time instead of the north side. South side. And basically from there, we're going to head back to LA. And yeah, that will probably cap up what we're doing today. I don't think there's anything too extreme. I think it's just buying more shit. Like when you're, when you're in America, you just have to keep shopping. You just have to keep shopping. You, you have no choice. So we're gonna do that and then we'll be on our way. We have to clean up the place first. Obviously, I don't like, I'm very OCD with this shit, so I don't really like leaving a hotel room dirty. I, I even make the bed, I'm not gonna lie. I even make the fucking bed. So we're gonna clean everything up and then we're gonna head out and check out and stuff like that. Has to be done. I mean, I feel like a dickhead if I don't. These guys are cleaning all the time. Giving back. Giving back right here. So we're packing up everything, getting ready. Just wanted to say a few things about the place. Obviously, it's a really nice place. I think everywhere in Vegas has like a resort slash casino type feel. So it's really nice here. We didn't get to go in the pool or go in the gym or anything like that. It was too busy, sort of. We're only here for two days. I kind of wish we were here for more, to be honest. And I want to book another one, but Ah, it's okay, it, it is what it is. So, just saying goodbye to this apartment for the last time, saying goodbye to this comfy bed that I slept very heavily on because I haven't slept heavily for like the past seven days, not gonna lie, it's, it's been pretty crazy, especially Coachella and all that type of stuff. So, it's been really good here. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to go home, but at the same time, I'm really not. And this is what I meant by a daiquiri cup. This is what I was drinking from for the majority of the night. Uh, I know I'd get slammed about it, but hey, it was tasty, I, I don't know, it was really good. So just checked out of the Tuscany Suites and Apartments, now we're going to go to the Vegas Strip. I recorded in the daytime because obviously I got it last time, it was in night time, so we're gonna go there and then from there, yeah, we're, we're not sure what we're gonna do. Maybe go to the outlets and stuff like that. So stay tuned. I always get you out when I'm parking these car, car parks. I hear so many stories about people getting their car broken into. So yeah, I have to hide literally everything. That's why I keep taking this camera around. Cause I'm scared to leave it. I'm scared to leave it in my car. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't want any of my shit to go missing. I can't find my beads actually at the moment. I can't find my beads. I have no idea where the fuck they are. So. I have to look, but we're going to the strip now in what looks like a place where I would be killed. But yeah, from here we're just gonna go for a bit of a shop, get maybe an omelette. Nicole's feeling an omelette, I'm feeling an omelette, so we may as well go there. So I just walked past somebody's underwear, right? And there was literally a human shit inside the, the unders. Someone's taken a shit on the Vegas Strip and just left it on the side of the road. I mean, I understand if you take a shit, you're gonna not want to wear it around, but Fucking hell, I'm sure there's toilets, I'm sure there's, you know, access to public bathrooms here somewhere. It's 
place is massive. We've, we've just discovered a place that we haven't been to before, and it's on the opposite side of the of the strip. So I'm doing a few smooths, doing a few things like that. But this place is massive. We can't visit it all, unfortunately. I don't think we won't be able to get everything out. But we're gonna try our best. <laughs> These cartoon characters are everywhere. I think I've seen Olaf from Frozen, Elmo. There was a Pikachu somewhere. They're just everywhere. Hustling. Everyone's hustling here. We're here at 11.30 in the morning and these blackjack tables are full. Pokies are full. Everyone's partying, drinking jackeries, man. Crazy. <coughs> Flamingos. Flamingos at a casino. What the flavor? They're just chilling, man. They're just chilling, right? I've never seen this before in my life. It's a first for everything. I mean, this guy's just cleaning himself, chilling, having a good time. Very, very strange, but cool nonetheless. It's sick. That is fucking cool. Just finishing the last part of the Vegas Strip now. We were just trying to find an omelet. Like physically impossible to find an omelet, but we finally went to this Mexican place. We had to go through a couple of different casinos to find it. So I went through the Cromwell and went through the Flamingo. And as we were walking through the Flamingo, we found the restaurant. Before, before we went to the actual restaurant, there's a legitimate zoo surrounding the resort. It, it's crazy. Flamingos in Vegas, a zoo in Vegas. I mean, I thought this place couldn't get crazy enough. There's a fucking zoo. <laughs> there's a zoo in a resort. It's insanity, but we're going to the South Premium Outlets, that's just over the other side to the North Outlets, obviously. But we're going to go shop there. I know there's a few less shops there, but once we go there, we'll be able to do a comparison between North and South, and then we will we'll go from there. Jesus Christ, that is a sub. Now, I had to come past here and have a look, but... Let me know in the comments what this is, because this is fucking sick. I've never seen this before. Black Bison Wall Wallow. Let me know in the comments what that is, because I have no idea. That is fucking sick, though. Oh, that's mad. So, another day of shopping done. Got a lot of shit. Got, got a lot of shit. This car is not going to be not going to be too spacious, but we came here. There wasn't a lot in comparison to the in comparison to the. Was it? Are we south or north right now? Rain. Okay. Not as much in comparison to the north side. I wanted to go and pick up some Dolce Gabbana shoes, but I bought some from Coach instead. And where is our car? Um. Ah, over here. Okay. Cars over here. But yeah, we South in comparison to North, oh my god. Is yeah, there's a lot there's a lot more there to see. So I was just going there instead of here, but still picked up a lot of stuff at a lot of good prices, so can't complain. Now we're gonna head back home. If we can get the key out of my Yeah, I know my, my hair's my hair's done, but we're gonna head back home now and it's gonna be four and a half hours, so it's gonna be a bit of fun. I'll show you the Show you the boot right now, <laughs> and we have to get those bags in here as well. So, fun times. So, I'm gonna say we have a long way to drive. We literally are on this road for 201 kilometers, and then we turn left. I mean, thank, thanks for the left left call, I guess, but that's that's what like three and a half hours of driving. I mean, I don't think I need to know that I need to turn left right now, but it's a long way to go. But I'm excited to get back, to be honest. Bye, Vegas. It was so much fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret not having this for a longer period of time, but it's okay. We'll make the best of a bad situation, but it's not really that bad because we're on holiday, so I can't really, I can't really complain right now. I'm, I'm stoked to have been here, stoked to have been to America. It's a, it's a lovely place, it really is. You hear about it and you, and you feel like it's gonna be a lot worse than it actually is here. I, I honestly thought first when I booked America, I thought it was gonna be scary. I thought I was scared for my life. But now coming here, I honestly 
sometimes prefer this over Australia, but I love Australia, I love America, it's, it's, it's hard, but bye Vegas, goodbye. We're, in, we're, we're just on the branch of getting out of Vegas now, and obviously there's all this, all this scenery and all these mountains and stuff like that, it's really beautiful, the sunset hits the mountains so nicely. Sucks that I'm not going to be here in, I think, five days. It's going to be, it's going to be a painful, painful departure, but I want to soak up everything that I can. Obviously, the views are insane everywhere I go. Vegas in particular, it's just like, a, it's a massive desert. There's, there's hills everywhere. Yeah, I can't say enough about this place. I'm really struggling to see any negatives. I mean, everyone's really nice here, but I'm leaving Vegas now. Hopefully I'll be back in 2020, I don't know, 2021 maybe, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I would love to come back here very soon. But for the time being, I'm just going to enjoy it while I'm here, obviously, it's a beautiful place. Well, I think it's a, I think it's a high speed chase or something, I can't, I'll try Stop. and, yeah, I'm stopping. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, what has he got? What's he doing? I don't know. I think it's a high speed chase, I think. And this guy's pulled over just to stop everyone, but. Or maybe just a load came off someone's car. I don't know. Is he getting back in his car? No, he's picking stuff up off the highway. Ah, uh, maybe this. So it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. If that's if that's all he's doing, oh, it's just I think he's just picking up rubble and shit. I've never seen that before in my life. This guy was swerving all over the road. I thought he was drunk or something. I thought it was a drunk cop. You know what I'm saying? He must have just been trying to like slow down traffic so he could get the stuff. There's a lot. It's like massive wooden pieces. Must have been. Must have been a heavy amount. Must have been a heavy load. You know what I'm saying? Winky face. I think he's done. Oh, maybe someone put down those wood pieces with nails in them. <laughs> now you're thinking crazy. There's like there's like pieces of tires all over the side of the road. Now you're thinking crazy. Conspiracy. Illuminati confirmed, bro. Is he done? Is he getting in his car? Yeah, he's getting in his car. Alright, let's see what he does. I think he might be done now. Probably. I think it's over. Oh. Is he still, he's still got his lights on there. He's still yeah, he's swerving. He's still doing it. Oh, so he's still... How much rubble was there, man? How much rubble was there? What the... He's going a little bit faster. Oh god, I'm just gonna try and avoid everything. I'm scared that there's gonna be shit on the road that fucking blows my tires. I'm ready to piece of plastic fly me. I don't want tires flying everywhere. Oh, so we're currently trying to chase this fucking Lamborghini. I can't, I can't seem to catch it. Everyone's chasing it. Everyone's following it. You can kind of see him now. The Camaro's like right in front of him. Like, I'm just going extremely fast. Oh no, <laughs> someone's going from behind me to catch up. All right, we caught him. Caught him for now, until he decides to weave traffic again. He's gonna do it already, what he's gonna go. Oh yeah, there he goes. God damn it. Catch up to the Lambo. I have a feeling with the rapper with his entourage of the Camaro. And there were some other people speeding, including me. Um, allegedly, I guess, some would say. We're almost home. I think it's like half an hour until we're back, which is, not a long time in comparison to the four hours that we spent driving here but it's yeah i don't know drives drives seem to get easier as time goes on i, I feel like when you drive so many hours in so many in, in so little amount of days that everything is just much much easier but almost back i have a feeling when we get back we're going to go to the gym because i feel like a, sh a piece of shit i've had so much bad food I was on a diet for like eight weeks straight and I was like, yep, yeah, I'll stick to it, I'll stick to it. And here I am eating McDonald's and 
whatever else, I don't know, cheese tech factory, all this type of, type of stuff, so, yeah, I don't feel great, so I'm going to go to the gym, work out a bit, you got to work out, if you don't work out, you feel so, so terrible, I remember when I didn't work out at all, I felt absolutely terrible, but, and now I feel the exact same way, so, I'm going to get back, probably going to go to the gym and sign up there, but, yeah, it's been a long, it's been a long ride, but it's good we're back. I'm happy to get back here. So, just got home, got to unpack everything. As you can see, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be the best. And the back is a terrible, terrible state as well. So, gotta clean that stuff up, gonna take it inside. And then, once I've done all that, I'm gonna sign off here, I think. I wanna go to the gym, I wanna, I wanna unwind a bit. So, the best way to do that is to work out, in my opinion. And, yeah, I've eaten shit all day. So, gotta get that out of my system somehow. And, the people that don't, they stay unhealthy. So I don't want to be like that. But I'm going to sign off for now. But thank you for watching. If you watched, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. I think like, I think I've got 16 subscribers on here. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, 16 people want to watch me. That's okay. That's fine. I'm happy with that. If you haven't seen my other channels, I have a beat channel and a reaction channel as well. If you want to go check them out, I think they're, if you go to my main page, they're on the right side. But Give this, thumb, give this video a thumbs up, and if you like everything else, just go watch my other videos. I've got like three or four vlogs. Again, I apologize for the lack of content. Obviously, I've been in Vegas for two days. I don't really, I didn't want to edit at like 2 a.m. in the morning because it would have taken me to like 6, etc., etc. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. GVN, play that back, boy.